Hey guys, my name is Shy. Welcome to another yes or no pick a card reading. Go ahead and pick your card. It's number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and number ten. Okay, card number one. Nine of Swords. That's a no. And whatever you're asking about is causing you or somebody else a significant amount of anxiety and racing thoughts and sleepless nights. Nobody ever likes to see the Nine of Swords. If you were to pursue this course of action, it would end up in a nightmare scenario for you. Don't <laughs> don't pursue this. But also with the Nine of Swords, it's you got to try and stop thinking about this. There's something something plaguing you and it's not as big of a threat as you think it is it's not a big of a problem as you think it is you need to find a way to let it go and put it to rest because it's just causing you it's just perpetuating this state of sleeplessness and anxiety so nine of swords always a no card number two justice this is a yes, as long as you've been, you know, good. <laughs> if you've been on Santa's good kid list, this is a yes. For anybody who saw Justice and got anxious, felt like that maybe Justice is kind of come around and bite them in the ass, then this would be a no for you. This is it, This is the scales balancing, the scales of Justice balancing. As long as... You deserve justice to be on your side. This is a yes. This is good. But if you've been doing something not so great or something you feel guilty about, something that is nagging on your conscience, then this is a sign that uh, things are going to be straightening out. The hammer of justice is going to be coming down. So <laughs> watch out, guys. I'm sure for most of you, this is a yes. I think I think most of you are are in your integrity and are going to be good. So this is a good sign for, for most people, except those of you who are worried about it. <laughs> so, card number three, Ace of Pentacles. This is a yes, and it is awesome because a whole new material fresh start, like suddenly your financial problems or your bodily problems, like could be, you know, more minor health issues, you know, like weight issues or allergies and things like that could just suddenly clear up um, or something new in your environment. I mean, maybe somebody's getting a new couch or, you know, you could be moving across the country, something like that. This is a yes for any kind of material project. I mean, it's a yes for everything, but it, the emphasis here is on your material world and how things will work out in a tangible way. Uh, a whole whole new fresh start everything good. This is a yes. Card number four. Six of swords. This is all about leaving something behind. This is all about departure. So be careful how you frame your question on this one, because this is a yes. If the yes is about leaving, this is all about leaving something behind, all about moving on. So if you asked, should you move on from something? Absolutely. Yes, it is time to leave that crap behind and it is time to move on. It is time to go. For some of you, this could be physically going somewhere, physically moving. Um, but if you asked something like, should I stay where I am? Should I stay in this job? Should I stay in this relationship? Well, then your answer is no. This With this card, it's it has a very specific vibe. It's all about leaving. So, you know, work your yes or no depending on your question and your situation and knowing that this card is all about a departure and moving on so card number five six of pentacles this is a yes again with the the justice there's there's a a theme with all of these cards about fresh starts and everything balancing out this is getting like a leg up, getting a helping hand, getting back what you've deserved. This is a lot like the Justice card, but the energy is a bit more toned down. Um, and it's a bit more about kind of energy, e energy transference, energy equalization, kind of 
in your daily life. This could be, you know, finally your roommate is going to start doing the dishes, <laughs> something like that. Um, finally getting the recognition you deserve from a family member. Finally having some much needed money come in. <laughs> well, I know a lot of people right now are probably waiting about this. So this is a yes. This is a really good sign. Card number six. Two of swords. I don't like this two of swords. It is particularly grim and it really speaks to me of like a fractured mental state. Somebody who doesn't know which way to go, doesn't know how to be discerning. Somebody is struggling to be discerning, struggling to find clarity of mind. So this is a no. But the emphasis here is really about struggling to find mental clarity. If you feel like there are two options in front of you and neither of them, and you can't decide between them, and that neither of them are good, or you feel like you're being forced to choose the lesser evil or choose between two evils, find secret option three, okay? What is your third option? What is the other thing you can do? Think outside the box. Try to find a whole new solution. You don't need to go down either of those paths. You can go a third way. So this is a no. Okay, card number seven. Judgment. This is a yes. This card is all about spiritual justice. Some of you, if you're asking about anything spiritual, this is the culmination of all of the work you've put into your inner work and it is starting to shine out. This is when your inner alchemy, your inner work, all the spiritual journey you've been on has, you've kind of reached the top of, of the mountain. It's not that there aren't further mountains for you to go on uh, further challenges for you to uh, uh, overcome and for the journeys for you to go on is that you've reached a certain, like you've reached one peak in the mountain range and there's going to be more peaks for you to, for you to have to climb and more things for you to have to conquer. But for now, you know, celebrate a victory and share it with the world. You know, you're blowing your, this is Gabriel blowing the trumpet. This is, <laughs> uh, you know, like we have over these tombstones. It's it's like a message so powerful that it reaches the dead. It can wake the dead almost. So take a moment to enjoy your accomplishments. And if you feel called to, this is really an encouragement to share your story, share your message, share whatever you, whatever it is you want to share with the world do it. You're being called to speak up and speak out. Card number eight, two of pentacles. This particular two of pentacles is always a maybe for me. It is somebody is juggling something, juggling, and whether or not this works out for you is going to kind of depend on how well you can juggle. Um, as you can just see, I was just tracing the infinity symbol here around these two pentacles. And I feel like it is really about trusting the timing. If you want this to work out, you have to use, you have to really use your finesse. You have to finesse through this and you have to trust the timing. And I feel like if you try to micromanage too much, it's not going to work out. That'll turn this into a no. If you really try to be too controlling, you're going to drop the balls. You might think when juggling, you know, that you would that you would need to be really aware of what your body is doing so you can juggle properly. But, you know, if you've ever done any kind of sport, played any kind of musical instrument or done anything that requires a really high level of a specific skill, you know that that shit is all muscle memory. Right. If you're playing piano or if you're doing gymnastics, you can't do that from the place of your conscious mind, that'll, <laughs> that'll just make you fail, right? If you're a figure skater, you can't go on the ice and, you know, try to pay attention to every single little muscle movement that you make. You'll just fall on your ass. So you have to trust that your body knows what to do, that your subconscious knows what to do, that if you go, if you can relax and surrender to the universe, that your, your higher self can see you through. Your body knows what to do. Trust your body's uh, intuition. Trust your body's instincts. Your body can be the juggler. Your rational mind can't be the juggler. So in order to turn this in from, from a maybe into a yes, just really focus on releasing control and going with the flow. That is how you can successfully finesse through this and juggle all of your balls. <laughs> 
Okay, card number nine. Three of Swords, that's a no. This is heartbreak. I mean, we have a heart here with three swords in it and it's raining. It's like the universe is crying. This is, you know, this is a bad time. It used to be that when I saw this card, I would feel a lot of anxiety and it, I felt like it was just compounding my heartbreak and compounding my problems. I'd be like, why am I, why am I getting this? Like, this is just making me feel even worse. It was making me feel like I couldn't do anything about it. And that I was just fated to kind of be heartbroken. But now I've really been evolving my relationship with the three of swords. It is one of the cards that yes, you don't like to see it because it means you or somebody around you is going through a lot of heartbreak. Yes, it is unpleasant. Yes, it is painful. But it is here to trigger a period of healing. You need to go through this heartbreak to purge out some of these emotions. You need to go through this heartbreak to learn a certain amount of lessons. And all of this, it's like it's like heart surgery. Once you come out of the operation, out of the operating room, and once you go through your healing process, then you're going to be so much stronger and better than before. And believe it or not, if you can think long term enough, or if you can think broad, zoomed out perspective enough, this is actually a blessing because the heartbreak is just there. The heartbreak is a symptom of the heart healing. So yes, I mean, this heart is being stabbed by three swords, and it's all about heartbreak and pain. But in the long run, this is a card of heart healing. And I have really seen that over and over and over again. I always see that play out that way. You just have to zoom out, get some perspective and wait, and play the long game, right? Yes, yes, when you get the three of swords right now, it hurts right now, it is painful. Eventually, you're going to get perspective on this and you'll see how you'll see why you chose to go through this. You'll see why your higher self did this to you. You'll see why this makes sense and how it benefited you if you can hang in there and get to the point, get to your vantage point where you can see the bigger picture. So hang in there, guys. <laughs> Card number 10, Knight of Swords. I always say about this card is it is a yes, but only if you go right now. Like this is so quick. This energy is so fast. Somebody could miss the boat. Um, something needs to happen right now. <laughs> you know, as in stop watching this YouTube video, go and do whatever you need to do because like, it makes me think of a movie, you know, where so-and-so is getting on the boat to leave the continent and, you know, there's somebody who's running to try and get to the boat and stop stop their lover from getting on the boat and leaving because that's their one chance. And if they don't, if you can't get there in time, you know, they'll never be together. <laughs> Something like that. So um, whatever you're asking about, this is a yes, but it's like act fast, act now. If you if you hesitate, this this is not a card of hesitation. Don't hesitate. Don't hesitate because if you, if you hesitate, you'll you'll miss the opportunity, and it's like this energy will just evaporate. This is a you got a little bit of a window here for whatever's going on. Act now, but obviously only if that re really feels right. Don't and be careful. <laughs> be careful, guys. You know, I don't want to be sitting up here and telling anybody to you know drop their phone and run out into the street, and then you know you get hit by a car. So be careful. <laughs> Pay attention to what you're doing, but. Just know that something wants you to stop hesitating here. That's what this is. Don't hesitate. Just go for it. But be careful along the way. I think that's it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.